I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. And I thought I would do a video with one of those wonderful behavioral interview questions. It's not a hard question, but again, it invites a story. Describe a time you had to deal with a difficult user, client, whomever it is. And you know, the scenario goes on. Let me just get it back up. Uh, my apologies for the delay. What was the situation and how did you handle it? So describe a time you had to interact with a difficult client. What was the situation and how did you handle it? Now again, format of the answer is you know, situation, objective, action, result. So situation, and let me back up for one second. How you construct your answer really depends on your level of seniority. So if you're a senior individual, they don't want to hear about a time when you were junior. When you're junior, you know, there's a less of an expectation. So think again in terms of situation, objective, action, result. So let me give you an example of a, a typical answer. So a typical one might be, you know, I've heard many stories about how difficult this user was. And one thing I've learned over the course of, my, uh, of the years is that what makes someone difficult is that they don't want to do what we want them to do. <laughs> That's the reality to it. They don't want to do what we want them to do in the way that we want them to do it. So suddenly they become difficult. What I find is most of the time, if I over explain the circumstances, I can win them over. So for example, there's this one user who I had heard all sorts of stories about. This one client I heard all sorts of stories about and he was horrible. Uh, that's the way he was described. And I met with him and sat down with him and said, what can I do to help you? And he laid out a situation for me and you know, I paused for a second and said, we can do most of that. Let me explain why we can do most of that and why we can't do some of that. And maybe we can come up with alternatives on that, some of that uh, area that can be satisfactory for you. And thus, what I was able to do is to engage the user in solving this situation, which involved a degree of escalation, because I needed to get an approval from so-and-so above uh, who would authorize this additional work to be done at a price that was reasonable for the user. And, and notice how what I've done is situation, objective, action, result, but also started off with the, oh, I heard all these stories about this individual, but most of the time, all it is is they don't want to do what we want them to do in the way we want them to do it. So I worked with them to solve the problem. It required an escalation. We got it done. Now, if you're a senior individual, that answer isn't quite going to work. So what you're doing is, you know, I, you know, I took them to lunch or I sat down with them in their office. Uh, but the intro is the same. Over the years, I found that what causes someone to be difficult is my firm hasn't done a good enough job of making them happy. So I sat down with them to hear their side of all the stories that I've been hearing. And you know, in one instance, you know, I, I the one so far as I said, I have heard that you are the most difficult person on the planet to work with. And I want to make you happy. How can I make you happy? And from there, what I was able to do was understand their side of the story and understand the issues that existed on our side and explain to them um, you know, some of the factors that were involved and let them know I want to work on resolving the difficulty. That I would check in with them regularly uh, to see if they were happy with their what was being given to them uh, and if not, work to resolve it quickly. The weekly check-in calls that I, I did went a long way toward giving them the attention that they really wanted to have that resulted in a satisfied customer. Um, and in, in notice how all of this involves that situation, objective, action, result. Uh, the result is the satisfied customer who wrote glowing reports about you know, our ability to help them, yada, yada, yada. So, Again, the idea becomes, you know, I heard all sorts of stories about this person. And you know, when push comes to shove, what I found is the issue was with us, not with them. So I went and met with them.
and try to understand their side of the circumstance and work with them to resolve what their issues were. There's a classic story in sales training about the junior salesperson who goes out on a, uh, is about to go out on a sales call and he has told the one customer uh, he's about to go see on his first sales call is the meanest, most ornery and cantankerous person on the planet. But if you keep with it and just ignore all their objections, you'll get them to buy. So, you know, he'll push back a lot, but you just plow through and you'll get the order. So he comes back with his, you know, you know, he's met with the customer. The customer starts pushing back. Oh, he starts smiling to himself. And he just keeps on plowing through and ultimately gets the order. And he comes back to his office and he's, he proudly presents uh, the order that he's taken from the customer. He said, you went to the wrong place. That is the meanest customer that we've ever dealt with. And yet he got the order. How did he do that? It was all in his head. And in this case, the organization had it in their head that this person was difficult. When all they required was a certain amount of additional attention, they wanted to be heard and they wanted to be satisfied. So again, present your answer in that way. You'll do fine with it. Hope you found this helpful. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. And once connected, send me a message through LinkedIn indicating that you'd like to chat with me about the possibility of coaching. I'd love to help you. Hope you have a great day. Take care.